Think you know all about the fight for civil rights? Think again. This is the untold story of the people who campaigned for a fairer America. Today, we mostly associate the fight for civil rights in America with the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s, when African Americans like Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks took a stand against racial segregation and helped to bring about positive change with the passing of the Civil Rights Act in 1964. But it's a fight that involves other Americans, too. Born in the 1940s, the Chicano Movement, or El Movimiento, saw Mexicans born in America challenge their status as second-class citizens. To protest laws that forced Mexican-American students to learn only in English, many held mass walkouts. Their efforts eventually led to the creation of bilingual educational programs. The Red Power movement of the 1960s was led by young Native Americans, who believed that indigenous communities should have the right to govern themselves and their ancestral lands. To make their point, Red Power activists occupied Alcatraz Island, a piece of land they believed was rightfully theirs. The protests lasted 19 months and helped pressure the government to start returning ancestral native land. The gay liberation movement began in the 1960s. Following the Stonewall Riots of 1969, a spontaneous demonstration against police brutality in New York City, Members of the gay community began to hold annual marches to commemorate the uprising and call for change. Today, gay pride events take place across the United States, where homosexuality was finally decriminalized in 2003. How can the effects of civil activism and protest be measured? And why do you think it takes lawmakers so long to action change? <laughs>